Hi everybody, for this week's review, I'm featuring this custom long line underbust corset made by Sweet Carousel Corsetry. And Sweet Carousel Corsetry is a one woman business based in Edmonton, Canada. So without further ado, let me get my hair out of the way for this. Here is the front, the side, the back, and the other side. I commissioned this corset a couple of years ago. Uh, Sweet Carousel Corsetry was offering it as a perk uh, for one of her charity fundraisers. And because my weight has fluctuated up and down for a couple of years, uh, the hips don't fit quite as perfectly right now, but uh, I'm not faulting the maker for that, even though this is, you know, custom fit, uh, because my body changes. So <laughs> uh, the measurements are a little bit moot, but for those who are curious, uh, this is a size 22. Uh, the rib cage here is 31 inches, so it has a nine inch rib spring. Uh, the upper hip here is 34 inches and the lower hip is 36 inches. So it has a 14 inch low hip spring. And for the length, I seem to have a bit of a long torso. So the center front here is 12 and a half inches. Uh, at the princess seam here, it is 11 inches. At the side seam, it is 12 and a half inches. And you can see that it has a very high back. In the center back here, it is 15 and a half inches long. I love the silhouette of this corset, and I'm not sure if it's coming out on camera, but it has a, a bit of a rounded rib here. It's very comfortable, and it nips in at the waistline here. The hips are also comfortably cupped, and uh, they're not pinching on my iliac crest, which is located right here. Because the hips are a little bit more loose, I might wear this corset over a fluffier skirt, or I could wear it even with uh, bulky jeans underneath, and it's probably not going to pinch into my iliac crest here. Sweet Carousel Corsetry offers a number of uh, different cuts and styles for the top and bottom edge. So I believe the one that I'm wearing today is just the, the straight underbust style. It's just called underbust. Uh, although I did request a bit of a higher back here. And uh, the bottom edge here is the long line. So she does have one that's cut a bit higher over the hips and she has one that comes even lower on the sides here. Uh, but I believe the one that I'm wearing today is just called the long line. So let's go to the tabletop portion and I can show you the details of the construction of this corset. So here's a sweet carousel corset laid flat, and for the materials, it's three main layers. Uh, the outside is this black duchess satin. It's really nice to the touch. Uh, if you don't want black, you can absolutely get any other color you want. Um, I bought this originally uh, to replace my Josephine because I wanted something, I guess, kind of similar, uh, a long line underbust that I can wear with many different outfits, uh, something with a high back here. Um, that is just you know plain black satin uh, except uh, just a uh, custom made to fit me so that was the reason why i just decided to get a plain black one at the time so moving on in between the fashion fabric and the lining here is a strength fabric i believe of couture and then uh the lining here is a lightweight uh sort of just a regular canvas weave um lightweight black cotton the Sweet Carousel Corsetry label is behind the Modesty Placket here, and you can see that uh, it's made in Canada. Uh, this is the cleaning instructions here, and this is the size. And turning the corset on its side, it has a seven panel pattern, 14 panels total in this corset. So one, two, three, four makes the front, five, six, seven makes the back, and you can see that uh, most of the curve over the hip here is made uh, by panels four and five right here. And this corset was constructed using the welt seam method. So starting with panel one, and then assemble all layers of panel two, all layers of panel three, and so on until you get to the, the very back. Although it's a little bit difficult to see and feel, I do think there is a waist tape in this corset invisibly stitched between the layers here. Uh, it's probably one inch wide, and it extends right to the, the center back panel here. And the binding is made from strips of matching black satin here, machine stitched on the outside and also on the inside here. You can see that there is a bit of a top stitch on both sides. By default, Sweet Carousel's corsets don't have a back modesty panel added, but I requested one. So this was a markup of uh, $16 Canadian to have this made, and it is uh, about three and three quarter inches wide at the waistline here. It's very slightly tapered at the waist, um, a little bit skinnier right here. It's almost hourglass shaped. And it is boned, it has uh, two horizontal bones right here. It's lined in a uh, black herringbone cotille and it's finished in the same uh, black duchess satin here. And it's suspended on the laces using this ribbon. And there is a modesty placket in the front as well, extending out from the knob side of the busk. It's about half inch wide, unstiffened, and finished in black herringbone cotille. 
The busk in this corset is 11 and a half inches long and it has five loops and pins equidistantly spaced. It's half inch wide on each side and it's a standard flexible busk here. Uh, there is a uh, flat steel bone adjacent to the busk here on either side so that adds a little bit more structure to it. There are a total of 18 bones in this corset, nine on each side, not including the front busk here. So it's single boned on the seams, one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe these are quarter inch wide spirals and they do attract my magnet here. Uh, there's also a flat steel bone by the front busk here and two flat steel bones sandwiching the grommets on each side. And in the back of the corset, there are a total of 28 grommets, 14 on each side. They are set equidistantly, uh, about an inch apart. Um, they are a very popular brand uh, among uh, North American corset makers. Uh, I believe they are a size double zero and they have a medium flange around them. They're all holding in very nicely and they are finished in silver. And moving the modesty panel aside, you can see that in the back, nice big washers. All of them have rolled beautifully. I don't see many splits in these. I don't catch on the laces. Um, they seem to be holding in very well. I don't see any damage uh, to the fabric around the grommets or anything. And for the classic line anyway, uh, the laces are this 3 8 7 inch wide black flat nylon shoelace style laces. A little bit of spring to them, uh, but very difficult to snap or break. And they glide through the grommets well. I have no complaints about them. And also the corset comes with chevron style laces above and below the waist. And at the waistline it has inverted bunny ears, so it makes it very easy to lace up. The underbust corset finished in the Duchess satin here is available in 19 different colors and it starts at $299 Canadian for underbust or if you want an overbust version it starts at $399. And if you want the stiffened floating modesty panel like I have in this corset that's an add-on of 16 Canadian dollars. And this concludes my review of this underbust corset by Sweet Carousel Corsetry. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did please remember to click that like button down there as it helps support the channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset feel free to leave a comment down below I'd be happy to answer your questions and if you also own a corset by Sweet Carousel Corsetry let us know what you think of it and how you like it in a comment down below as well thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for another video bye